مساء الخير جميعا رح نبدا مراسم الختام بعد دقيقتين Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, after four days of knowledge exchange and research, our fourth, uh, our fourth infinite regional conference has come to an end. I want to thank you all for your participation. And I want also to take this opportunity to thank everyone that has contributed to this conference's success. It is my honor and privilege to present to you the innovative mind behind Infinite. He is one of the driving forces for this conference's success. Please put your hands together for Infinite's Executive Director, Dr. Mohanad Linsur. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. So, dear colleagues and friends, we are closing a great conference for which I would like to thank all of you for this attending. Our gathering here in Aqaba under the patronage of His Excellency Dr. Ali Hyasar marks an important achievement of our network. Our meeting over the past three days allowed us to promote a competitive environment where we managed to present ideas, evidence, and research from different countries. I believe that we had stimulating and inspiring debates and discussion over many issues of concern that we are, were driven by the significance and diversity of the conference theme, public health in the region, challenges and opportunities. When we started off preparation of the conference, we had anticipated an agenda that can present a wide range of public health concerns in the region. We were determined to present a successful conference that focuses on topics that are crucial for improving the health of our nations. I do believe that we succeed. We have had the honor to receive about 190 participants from 18 countries, including public health officials, CDC officials, WHO colleagues, representatives from international and national organizations, FETB directors, residents, advisors, graduates, trainees, and university professors, and students from Jordan and outside Jordan. Live streaming the event for the first time allowed interested individuals who were not able to attend the conference in person to join us online. I am deeply thankful to you all for your participation. I would like to add my own reflection to the significance of the conference. The first ref reflection is, is that the, gen the, the general perception of the conference indicate that there is a real passion and desire among the FETB graduates and residents to learn and to share knowledge. The attempts of every country in sharing experience and to present its efforts is very obvious. My second reflection is that we have managed to present and share knowledge and experience that it's deserved but yet connected by value and importance to the public health practice. We need to be looking into mechanisms that can help us move collectively beyond the conference walls. For example, we need to examine techniques or systems that can allow us to use the different situation and issues personal during this conference to enrich our practice and curriculum by including presentations from, the from this conference as case studies for, for FETB graduates and other situations. My last reflection, the third and last reflection that I offer is as we must extend the knowledge gained during this conference to all our FETB graduates and residents 
who were not able to attend the conference. We must expand and move the de uh, debates and discussion beyond the time of, the, of this conference and work engaging other and, and the momentum inspired us during the few days. In doing so, we can achieve a wider base of knowledge and evidence. In short, we need to spread the knowledge gained through the sessions of this conference. Finally, I thank you all for taking part in this conference and wish you a safe journey back to home. But before closing, I would like to announce that we will have our next conference uh, in October 2016. Please stay tuned to our network communication channels for future updates. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just for more clarification, usually Infinite has its own regional conference every other year, but there was a decision from the board of director and and discussion with other our partners so we will conduct you know the next conference after one year from now thank you very much we had the uh, sorry for interruption again but mainly it will be the the conference mainly we still need to discuss and but it will mainly be in turkey so, decent. Thank you, Dr. Mohanad, for that very inspiring speech. Now, the Federal Ministry, Minister of, the, of Health, Somalia, Her Excellency Dr. Hawa Mohamed, would like to say a few words. Please give her your undivided attention. I wish I could speak Arabic this time, but I can't. They gave me only 10 minutes, and I have to tell you everything that happened since 1991 in Somalia. I try to summarize everything within 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, representative from all um, other countries, I was told Jordan are here, Iraq are here, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Morocco, Egypt, and Yemen. And I was hearing just right now that there was 18 countries represented. And I would like to say all of them. Kingdom of Jordan, the Ministry of Health, Aqaba, Authority, Trade Economic Zone, particularly thanks to Dr. Mohammed, Infinitive and in, in ex Executive Director, and all organizers and distinguished guests, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm extremely pleased to be here and to get to know all of you. It's my first time here in, in Jordan and the first time in Anaqaba. I had few meetings, side meetings. I was willing to understand what can I gain from this and how can I create a partnership for Somali government with the organization uh, like Infinity. Hopefully, we have agreed that we're going to start something very soon, and Somali country and the government will receive support and advice from them as well, and that's a very good information for me. And thank you for facilitating that. Also have a meeting with Center of CTC, Definitely, I have to inform them of everything that was happening in Somalia, the need to get more support from countries like themselves, and uh, the uh, communication is going to be followed up. Just to give you some background information about Somalia, since 1991, it has been a lot of civil war, an established country, we had an, a, a government, recognized government since 2012. Before that, we have nothing. We have a temporary government that was very unstable, and there's a lot of private activities going on 
completely all the public activity destroyed. Professionals, especially health professionals, went out of the country, like myself. I was young when I left the country. Now is the time that diaspora went back to the country and tried to support the country to stand on its feet. In terms of post-development agenda, Somalia hasn't achieved at all. It's still now, previous agenda is being addressed by Somali development and agenda that is just developed newly. Health system inequities embed access to essential quality health services such as limited and damaged health infrastructure, lack of health workers, irregular provision of medicine and supplies, and high level of out-of-pocket payment. If I give you just statistically how the situation is in Somalia, one in seven children, seven children dies before the fifth birthday, and one woman dies every two hours during pregnancy. 202,000 acutely malnutrition children in Somalia right now. 60% of children under five, and 50% of women suffer from anemia. Only 42% of children received the prevalence three vaccination. 98% of women experience female genital mutilation. And 610,000 people suffer from malaria cases. Since the government was established, we have achieved a lot. More than one million people are having access to humanitarian primary and secondary health services right now. More than five million people are having access to essential package of health services, reproduction, maternal and newborn, and child health and nutrition. 160,000 severely undernourished children were managed in only 2014. 27% of households own at least one treated bed nets as well. The achievement hasn't stopped there. We have developed formal policy, health policies, regulations, and, and other and strategies as well to, to deliver services to the community. But we have challenges. We have area that we cannot access. At the moment, it's getting lesser and lesser as Al-Shabaab is um, taken out of the money areas. They remain in only one district right now. In partnership with UN agencies such as WHO, UNICEF, UNFPA, and all others, we managed to at least provide basic health care services to the people, and planning to move that for up level and provide secondary health care services as well. We, the way forward, what we're planning to do from now on, we plan, we're planning to improve the capacity and skills of and workforce in terms of health workforce, increase advocacy and a pol political commitment from the government and the people as well, strengthen relationship between district and uh, regional administrations, produce high quality micro plans, and increase, increase coverage by reaching the area that we haven't reached before, and regularly use data to monitor and follow up at all levels. This is just the snapshot of what's happening in Somalia. There is much more to know about Somalia than to, than, than to recount in 10 minutes. We're trying to do whatever we can to improve policies, procedures, and the services that we deliver into the community. I believe health is a tool to stabilize the country. It's a tool to facilitate democracy. It's a tool to bring people together. One of the highlights last night was when we, I, I saw dancing people from Iraq. It was a Shia and, and Sunni dancing together. That's, that was very beautiful. Thank you for experiencing that. And also strategic directions. We have provided, we have planned service delivery. We're not providing any, anything less than basic packages to all the community from now on. We are aggressively addressing implementation challenges, channels, and sustainability. We are expanding our services to all. As I said, secondary care services is in the plan of the and a priority of the government. 
integrating and harmonizing all information system and make use of the national system, increasing reporting system, and importing data reliability through joint site visitors as well. I, I have learned a lot from listening to you all. Even though I just attended one of the session, I have realized we are similar and also we are diverse. We can learn from each other. I think when we gather some, such a thing, such a huge differentiation of people, we can learn from each other in terms of challenges that we are facing, how to tackle that, and what kind of resources and where do you get resources from as well. Definitely, I'm looking forward that Somali, Somali government and Somali community join in the next conference that you're going to be held in, in Turkey, as uh, Dr. Mohammed said, and be an active member of this group. Thank you very much for having me here. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. It's always an honor having you. So next, from the, the Public Health Association, I would like to present to you Dr. Bassam Hajawi. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> هذه الجمعية التي أنا أمثلها وأنا أتكلم باسم أعضاء هذه الجمعية هذه الجمعية التي تنطوي تحت لواء نقابة الأطباء الأردنية كجمعية اختصاص وتعنى بأطباء الصحة العامة وأطباء المجتمع وأطباء الوبائيات واختصاصيات واختصاصات الطب المجتمع المختلفة من الصحة المهنية والأم والطفل والأمراض ورقابة الأمراض والبيئة والمياه إلى آخره كما تعلمون وكان هدفنا نحمد الله أن تحقق في هذا المؤتمر لأننا نسعى من خلال جمعيتنا أن ندعم التعليم الطب المستمر لأطباءنا أطباء الصحة العامة الاختصاص وأن نقوم بتدريب أطباءنا المتدربين وقد نجحنا بالتعاون مع الوزارة أن خلقنا في الأردن وهي الأولى في المنطقة Residency of Community Medicine اختصاص طب المجتمع وهي إقامة كباقي الإقامات معترف فيها في المجلس الطبي ضمن كوريكولم واضح المعالم لمدة أربع سنين يتخصص الطبيب فيها ويكون قد حصل على أعلى الشهادات في الكوميونيتي ميديسين بكافة فروعه نعتبر نفسنا أننا وصلنا وحققنا هذه الأهداف من خلال المؤتمر حيث تبادل الخبراء والباحثين ودعوني أقول الطلاب المبتدئين والأف إي تي بي المتدربين وكل من هذه بهذه القاعة الذي حضر هذا المؤتمر إذ أشكركم على حضوركم والتزامكم في الجلسات وإغناء وإثراء المؤتمر بمناقشاتكم بارك الله فيكم ونتمنى ك نحن أنه من اللجنة التحضيرية في المؤتمر أن نكون قد لا تعثر أحد في مشكلة فكنا إحنا ساهرين على خدمتكم من خلال الإنفنت فكنا جنود لا ترونا بقيادة الدكتور مهند نسور الذي أزعم وأقول أننا نجحنا والحمد لله وحققنا أهداف المؤتمر وشكرا للإنفنت وشكرا لكوادر الإنفنت التي سهرت على الجميع وشكرا لأعضاء الصحة جمعية الصحة العامة معنا واللي هم بأغلبنا نحن يعني فقرون بعيدين عن البرايفسي والقطاع الخاص نحن نعمل في القطاع الحكومي وبناء عليه 
فكنا كان كنا يد واحدة لإنجاح هذا المؤتمر وأعتقد أن حققنا بهمتكم أهلا وسهلا بكم في الأردن وحياكم الله وأنتم مدعوون في أي وقت وشكرا لكم Thank you, Dr. Bassam, for the few words. Next, I would like to introduce Dr. Haydar Latoum. He will be presenting on or speaking on behalf of the Jordan Minister of Health, Dr. Ali Hyasat. Please put your hands together. Masa al khair lil jamia. يعني بداية أنا بدي أعتذر إنه ما كنتش عارف إنه في كلمة ولهذا السبب مش بعتذر أولا لمع الوزير إني ما جهزتش بدلة حتى ألقي كلمته حتى تليق بمعالي الوزير ولكن حقيقة لابد إنه يكون لنا مشاركة بداية نحن نعتقد وتتفقون معي أن هذا المؤتمر نجح بامتياز بكل المعايير والمقاييس من حيث الترتيب والتنظيم والإعداد والمشاركة في الحجم هذا الحجم الكبير من الأوراق التي قدمت وأعتقد أننا كنا سنعود إلى مواقعنا في جميع الدول المشاركة وكل واحد فينا بجعبته معلومات وبيانات سنستخدمها في حياتنا العملية أتمنى أن يستمر هذه النشاطات ونحن بنعرف أنه وكما بتشوفوا أنه الأردن دائما دائمة الترحيب بالمؤتمرات والورشات والدورات نتيجة حقيقة لهذا التميز من الاستقرار وهذه النعمة التي تنعى فيها الأردن أرضا وشعبا تحت قيادة صاحب الجلالة الملك عبد الله الثاني حفظه الله ورعاه والذي يرعى دائما مسيرة هذه البلد وحقق الاستقرار والأمن والذي نتمنى أن يستمر إن شاء الله فنحن الأردن فاتحة دائما أبوابها لاستقبال ضيوفها وزوارها ونحن جميعا كشعبا وحكومة وأجهزة نرعى ضيوفنا كما نحرص على عدسات عيوننا هذه البلد نتمنى لها إن شاء الله وأتمنى أن تدعو معي أن تستمر تنعم بالأمن والاستقرار إخواني نتمنى لضيوفنا زملائنا أن يكونوا قد استمتعوا في أجواء العقبة و يعني نعتذر عن أي تقصير ولكن ما قصروا الإنفنت والمشاركين والشركاء أقصد في عقد في الإعداد وعقد هذا المؤتمر اللي هم وزارة الصحة والإنفنت والجمعية الأردنية للصحة العامة 
بذلوا جهودا تستحق الاحترام والتقدير وأتمنى أن تستمر هذه الأنشطة وتستمر هذه الشراكة متمنيا لكم التوفيق وأن تعودوا إلى بلادكم بالسلامة ومتمنيا أيضا لي وشاكرا للإنفينيت على جهودهم والله يوفقهم وإن شاء الله إلى لقاءات أخرى علمية تكون بمستوى النجاح الذي تحقق خلال الخمس أيام الماضية كل الاحترام والتقدير وأنا ثانية أشكركم باسم وزارة الصحة وباسم زملائي المشاركين من وزارة الصحة ونتمنى لكم حسن الإقامة اللي باقي حسن الإقامة وعودة سالمة بعون الله وشكرا Thank you, Dr. Haidar Latum, for those very kind words. At this time, uh, of course, we wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for our sponsors and our partners. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Aqaba Special Economic Zone Authority for their support and hospitality. I would now like to invite Dr. Mohanad Lansour and Dr. Haidar Latum for uh, to uh, present the gifts that we have. Please come to the stage. So I will be calling the name of the organization and who will be receiving the gift on their behalf. The first person we would like to give thanks to is the Jordan Minister of Health, Dr. Haidar Latoum. Next, we'd like to present the Jordan Public Health Association, Dr. Bassam Hijawi. <laughs> the third person we would like to, to thank is the is Tiffanet, Dr. Denisio Herrera. Next, we have the best oral presentation, Dr. Irshak El Falhi from Yemen. Next up, we have the best poster presentation. 
Abid Sayed from Pakistan. Congratulations. Next, we have our country FETP and F -E FELTP. Oh, okay. Programs. Choice Congratulations. Next, we have our country programs, our FETPs and FELTPs. So, first up, Dr. Um, Sahar Shorbaji. Presenting, uh, accepting on behalf of the Egypt EFL ETP. ETP. FETP, yes. So FETP Egypt. Next up, we have FLTP Pakistan, Dr. Kamil Samura. Repeat it. Next up, we have the Iraq FETP program, accepting on behalf of Dr. Kahtan al Salahi. FETP Morocco program, we have Miski Fatima Zahra. On behalf of the Yemen FETP program, we have Dr. Abdul Wahab Sururi. Sururi. Oh, Sururi. And last but not least, on behalf of the Jordan FETP program, Dr. Zena Khrizat.
Now they say, a photo is worth a thousand words. And based upon this belief, Infinite has held its first FETP photo contest this year. Now to announce the contest winners, please welcome Mr. Amjad Lehyari. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I think I have to be short because everyone wants to leave. So, okay. <clears throat> okay, in, in year 2015, in March, uh, recently, in March 2015, Infinite uh, launched Infinite 2015 FATB contest. The purpose of this con contest was to document the work of FETBs, residents, and graduates are involved in using a photography or uh, photos. Uh, the purpose of this uh, contest or initiative uh, to increase the visibility of our FETBs regional and regionally and globally, and uh, to highlight the achievements of FETBs residents have been made within their country programs and working uh, field. Uh, we had a, a submission categories. The submission categories of the photos, they were uh, general, just to give the, everyone the opportunity or the chance to participate about the immunization, outbreak investigation, emergency response, research, field work, and also community work, and health education. The prizes was, the first prize was an all expenses paid opportunity to attend a regional conference uh, of his choice, the winner. Uh, the second prize, all uh, expenses paid opportunity to attend a regional training of his choice relevant to the winner line of work. And the, th the last one was a professional camera just to encourage the FET people to uh, to use their cameras and to take some photos from field work. <laughs> the time frame, actually, we expanded the time frame twice. We established this initiative in March 2015, and we extended the, the time frame twice until August. Uh, although we expanded the time frame, but we had received a few, uh, a few uh, submissions or a few photos from different participants. We had an acceptance criteria to get the photos or to evaluate the photos. The contest was only open for FETBs, residents and graduates. We, uh, we have to, uh, the, the photos has to be in a high resolution and electronic format. Mobile photos was not allowed. And also uh, each photos we ask the participant to provide information about each photos in an entry form just to describe the photos and what does it uh, uh, mean for their working uh, or field work. Evaluation criteria, we had uh, an evaluation committee evaluated all the photos that we've received from the participant and each photos uh, get uh, ranked or scored uh, by this committee and based on this we uh, get the highest rank or the highest ranked photos and uh, participants. We received, uh, unfortunately, we received only eight uh, submissions, six from, from Pakistan and also two from Iraq. I would like to thank everyone who participated, who submitted photos to, uh, to uh, who participated to this initiative. Dr. Ahmed Ihsan from Pakistan, and Dr. Akbar Ali, Dr. Sami Khan, Dr. Badr Naimi. I think Dr. Badr is not here, so. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Mumtaz Ali Khan, Dr. Suhail, and Dr. Wahid Ahmed and Dr. Yasser Yunus. These are all the participants for the photo contest. Now uh, we have, do you want to know the winners? <laughs> are you ready for the winners? <laughs> uh, I would like, 
I would like to invite uh, Dr. Muhannad just to give the, please, if you can give the winners the prizes. <laughs> Dr. Mumtaz. <laughs> So next winner, next winner, uh, the second prize. Uh, Third winner. <laughs> and unfortunately, Dr. Bader, he couldn't come. So maybe Dr. Kahtan can take the right. Thank you, uh, everyone. Congratulations for all uh, winners. <laughs> yani I, encourage, I encourage everyone to uh, participate. We are planning to have more uh, initiatives, more uh, contests, inshallah, in the future, using social media, using uh, all of our infinite channels to uh, uh, encourage FETB uh, graduates and participants to yani, uh, promote their work. So please keep updated on our social media and on website just to to win inshallah <laughs> okay thank you Can I have your attention, please? So everyone. Everyone that has worked on this conference has worked with their utmost respect and dedication to make this conference a reality. They all deserve recognition. However, we would especially like to thank an infinite staff member for his efforts. That <laughs> this team member has contributed to ensuring all technical details and information technology arrangements were up to perfection. 
Allow me to invite to the stage Mr. Emja Dehyadi to receive a small token of our gratitude. Allow me to allow me just few words to say why Amjad. Amjad in the past year did a great job with 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 improving information technology in Infinite. Uh, and the, at the beginning of this year, Amjad developed the online training evaluation system for all our training courses. So the evaluation training system or uh, you know, online training system was adopted by Geneva, by WHO Geneva and you know, CDC Atlanta Polio team. So they requested our permission you know, to use the system in Geneva and, and, uh, and in CDC. Again, Amjad with his creativity, he developed the the prices or the competition that you saw, you know, to encourage our FETB residents, of course. Amjad and his team, you know. Finally, Amjad, you know, although we were very stressed to prepare this conference and we had holidays days, but also he insisted to, to pilot the evaluation system for the conference and hope we will, we will revise the system and then we can publish it and then we can share this. For such, I will not go that Amjad does not sleep at night, he's do work. This is common and infinite, but really he moved us in very steadily and very professional way to go to the information technology. So today we are more confident that we can do much more in the area of information technology. Thank you very much. I'm said that's only a small token of our, our gratitude. Yeah, you, it's not measured how much you do for Infinite. So next, and last but not least, I would definitely like Dr. Said to join us on the stage as he is an Infinite consultant, and I would love to invite Her Excellency uh, Somalia's Minister of Health, Dr. Hawa. Muhammad, just for a brief gift, please. I would like to thank everyone that has taken on the role of moderator and evaluator as you contributed to the richness of our sessions. I would also like to thank our participants. You are the reason we have this conference. Thank you for your participation. As the ceremony comes to an end, I hope you enjoyed your stay in Aqaba, Jordan. We look forward to seeing you again next year, probably, in Turkey. To stay updated on our latest information, and please follow us on, please like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube, and keep visiting our website that MSHED has worked so hard on. To receive your, certifi your certificates, please visit the registration tables outside. You will receive a certificate and a flash drive containing all the conference content at for your convenience. I thank you once again for attending and wish you a safe travels back to your respected countries. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just a minute please. I would like to ask the, all the participants to come to the stage to take a big photos for everyone and we will be sending it to every one of you. Yeah. Please come to the stage. For a, a lovely group photo, please. With our lovely backdrop the infinite staff to take a picture as well. <laughs>